I'm gonna get to it in this video. No, I'm not beating around the bush. No pun intended. I'm not beating around the bush, bro. I'm getting straight to it, bro. I gotta stop doing this hand signal, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, I swear that's not muscle memory, bro. That's just like how I how I act, bro. It's just like my, it's how I articulate my body language. You feel what I'm saying? Look, I'm on 200 days plus no fat. And I've been maintaining. I've been maintaining for the last, you know, 150 plus days. And then once I got to the 200 days, I found the secret on how to actually never relapse. You feel me? I actually found the secret. I'm gonna get to it in a minute. The secret is not in the world, bro. It's not. Now, the world gives us things to help us maintain our streak. You feel me? Even though you're not supposed to count the days, but let's be honest. We want to know how many days we were free from porn, right? Free from masturbation. Now, there's things in the world that can help us maintain the streak. Maintain, not not free us, but maintain. Like hitting the gym, right? It helps us maintain our streak and help us maintain not watching porn and being active eating healthy helps us maintain journaling helps us maintain but that's not really the f the answer to freedom bro it's not because let's be 100 percent right now we're spiritual beings right me and you are spiritual beings right bro that means we meet we need spiritual fulfillment we know we don't need worldly fulfillment i don't know if you don't believe in spirits or not if you don't believe in spirits bro that's tough you have no faith you feel me there is an afterlife bro we are spiritual beings that's why money can't fulfill us. That's why you guys see rich people get depressed. You feel me? Like Jeffrey Epstein, bro. Why, why did he make that island in the first place? It's because he wasn't being fulfilled by all the riches and fame and glory he had, bro. Because that's worldly fulfillment. It's not spiritual. We're spiritual beings, bro. We need spiritual fulfillment. And the answer to spiritual fulfillment, bro, is Jesus Christ, bro. That's the only answer. That's the only answer is spiritual fulfillment. And the only answer on how to never relapse on no fat. Because our flesh is always going to be fleshy. You feel me? Shout out to Tony Evans for that analogy. Our flesh is always going to be fleshy, bro. It's not going to change. We can't change our flesh, bro. But we can receive the Holy Spirit, right? And the flesh and the Holy Spirit don't go together, bro. They fight. You feel me? That's why our body dies and stays on this earth and our spirit goes to heaven, right? What the spirit does is override the flesh. We can control the flesh once we receive the Holy Spirit, right? And start walking with God, walking in faith walking in faith not leaping in faith not jumping across a, like out of a whole building to get to faith no walking in faith it's a process that's why i give you guys all these you know tips and things to do to take care of yourself like hit the gym do these things but if you truly want to be free bro you got to do it with god not doing it with god bro you're just going to be in a cycle of management you feel me you got to really walk in faith i'm gonna give you guys some some verses out the Bible to help articulate what I'm trying to say. Galatians 5, 16. But I say to you, walk by the spirit and you will not carry out the desire of the flesh. For the desire of the flesh is against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. What does that mean? The flesh and the spirit, the Holy Spirit. I'm when I say the spirit, I'm talking about Holy Spirit, which is God, which is Jesus Christ. The flesh and the spirit can't go together, bro. It just doesn't mix. It can't. You feel me? They'll fight. It's chaos. You feel me? It'll, the flesh and the spirit is just two different things because we are sinners. We were born into sin, right? But when we believe in Jesus Christ, that he died on this cross, saved us from our sins, took all the punishment that He was. we were supposed to take by dying on the cross, right? Once we believe that, we receive the Holy Spirit. If you believe in something, bro, you're going to live it out, right? If you believe you're going to be rich one day, you're going to live it out, right? If you believe you're ugly, you're going to live it out. You're probably going to turn ugly. Like, if you believe in something, bro, you're going to live it out, right? I believe Jesus Christ died on this cross for me, so I'm going to live it out. You feel me? So I'm going to walk with faith. I'm going to do everything I can to seek my God. We cannot, we, bro, we have to walk by the Spirit because our hearts are deceitful. You know what I mean? We have to walk to the Spirit because, bro, God knows best. You feel me? He does things for our own good. You feel me what I'm saying? You can, you can try to live on your own terms and do your own thing, right? You can go do whatever you want. You can go smoke weed, hit the club, watch porn. You can do whatever you want, right? Try to fulfill yourself with all these worldly things, bro. See where it gets you. You're probably going to end up depressed. You're probably going to end up with anxiety. You're probably going to end up suicidal jumping off a building. You feel what I'm saying? Walk by the faith, bro, because it leads to peace. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Walk by the spirit and you will not carry out the desire of the flesh. He does not say you won't have the desires of the flesh, but he says you won't carry out the desires of the flesh, yielding to it. You know what I mean? Because we're always going to have the desires of the flesh, bro. The flesh is unfixable. You can't fix this flesh, bro. We are born into sin, bro. We are sinners, like I said, bro. We are unfixable, but we are controllable with God. We can't control ourselves, bro. We can't do it ourselves because we are flesh itself, right? That's why we all need God, bro. It don't matter who you are. Like, you can be a pastor, Joel Osteen, my pastor. Uh, What's his name? Sorry. Sorry, I'm pastor. Sorry, pastor. Paul Doherty, you can be Mike Todd, bro. Or you can be a homeless dude. You can be a stripper. You can be... A drug addict bro we all need god just as much as our neighbors you feel what i'm saying
because we're all flesh. We're all flesh. L let's go to Romans, right? So I wrote this down, by the way. So I'm look I'm not looking in the Bible. I'm looking in my book. Hey, this book is pretty cool, though. Look, it's like a little journal. It's pretty cool. In Romans, we read that Paul is struggling with his flesh. Read that in Romans chapter 7. Paul is like struggling. He's like, oh, God, like, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm wicked. I'm wretched. I'm a, I'm a horrible man. Paul. You guys know Paul, right? You heard of Paul in the Bible before, right? He was in despair. He was very desperate, right? In this chapter 7 that we read. In verse 24, he says, wretched man that I am, who will set me free from the body of death? Because our bodies, bro, they just want to sin. You feel me? Our bodies want to do wrong. Our flesh. There's no control in it. I mean, there is control in it, sorry, but there's no worldly controlment, right? We need spiritual controlment, right? We can't, I don't even know if that's a word, controlment. Hey, that's my own word. Add that to the Francisco A. Goat Dictionary. Who's going to set us free from this bondage, this sin? Who? We can manage it probably with like the gym and stuff. Like I said, we can manage it with like worldly things, right? We can manage it with therapy and this and that. We are set free when we walk according to the spirit, not the flesh. If you're out here, bro, not walking with God, bro, of course you're not going to be set free. Because you're not walking with God. You chose the other path. You chose the worldly path, right? But if you're walking with God, walking with, which is the Holy Spirit, which is God, which is Jesus Christ, right? You're walking with Him. You will be set free. Walking with God, right? Walking with God. Taking steps. Taking steps. Not leaping, not jumping, walking. Walking. Like, even with the snowfab stuff, bro. Even with the snowfab stuff, it's a process. It's a walk. It's a walk. And it's a, it's a learning process, bro. When I started this nofap journey, bro, I was doing it for girls, by the way. I was doing it for girls, and now I'm doing it for God. Whole turn, tables turn, you feel me? I was doing it for girls. I was doing it for my confidence, this and that. Bro, I had it all in me the whole time, bro. I had it all in me the whole time. I'm over here doing it for, like, worldly things, bro. I'm doing it because, oh, uh, I, I want a girl, and I want to, I wanna, uh, you know, get confident and get in shape, right? And I just got to stop beating my meat because that would help me, right? I guess. But I had it twisted. You feel me? Now I'm actually doing it according to, you know, because I'm trying to line up with my purpose, bro. I got to cut out the sin because this sin keeps us lukewarm. You feel what I'm saying? It keeps us lukewarm. And with God, bro, everything else gets fulfilled. I have this I have this verse written up on my wall. I'm not going to look at it and I'm gonna, because I'm, I'm trying to memorize the verse, bro. I'm trying to memorize the Bible. So I want to prove to myself that I can say it. Matthew 6, verse 33. Seek first his kingdom and all his righteousness and all things shall be added to you. Okay, I got it right. Yeah, okay. We have to seek God, bro. Everything else in this world that you want, well, that you need, by the way, because a lot of things we want in this world is like worldly stuff and that we just don't need. Maybe you can get it, but God won't give you something that's not for your own good. Seek first his kingdom and righteousness and all these things shall be added. Now you can try to go chase your goals and do this and do that by yourself. You can do it the worldly way. You're going to end up probably like all these other streamers, though, all these other YouTubers, all these other famous people, all these other successful people lost because that's worldly fulfillment. Like I said in the beginning, bro, we need spiritual fulfillment. We need to walk with God. This is fulfillment, bro. It leads to peace. Let me read you guys another verse for the mindset on the flesh is death, but the mindset on the spirit is peace. What did you guys get out of that? Think. He said mind. OK, mind. It changes with the mind. Like in my last video, I said change starts with the mind. Fix your thoughts, bro. Fix your thoughts. Fix your mouth. Change starts with the mind. Our thoughts, bro, lead to action, right? If you're thinking lustfully, you're going to end up busting a fat one in the bathroom. If you're thinking, sorry, that was a little nasty. I need to get more, more kid friendly on my videos. But if you're thinking lustfully, you're probably going to relapse on no fat, right? If you're thinking godly, spiritually, you know, thinking about his verses, filling your brain up with the Bible then you're probably gonna proceed the fruits of the spirit right I'm, I'm i'm sweaty right here by the way i just got out the gym set your mind on the spirit bro holy spirit not the not the flesh because your flesh is going to lead to destruction. think about the good stuff think about it you can control your thoughts come on now think about something good right now easy right set your mind on the good stuff right and also you have to put in action faith without works is dead james chapter 2 verse 14 faith without works is dead if faith is not accompanied by action, bro, it's dead. You got to put the action in. You got to pick up your Bible. You got to hit the gym. You got to delete Twitter. You got to start watching Christian videos. You got to start watching self-improvement videos. You got to do something. You feel me? You got to keep moving forward, bro. Take steps. But do it with God, not yourself, not the flesh. Because if you do it with the flesh, bro, if you do it with just by yourself, it's going to be maintained. You're probably going to relapse after day 20, maybe day 100, maybe day 200, maybe day 300. Do it with God, bro. Walk with the spirit. And he will lead you to success on no fap. And there's no end goal either. It's a lifestyle, just like walking with the spirit. 
walking it's not an event by the way walking with the spirit is not an event it's a whole lifestyle bro it's a whole process it's it's the rest of your life okay but it's peaceful like i said if it, the verse literally says walk with the spirit and you will find life and peace walk with the flesh and you will find death i'm gonna end the video off right there let me know if y'all need more videos like this man i'm gonna make more videos like this anyways i've been in my word bro I've been learning so much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. If y'all want to hit me up, text me. Go ahead, hit me up. If you want to talk, let's talk. I'm out. Peace.